Here we have another limit calculation, but we run into an immediate problem. We can't do a substitution here. If we make x equal 3 and substitute it in, we're going to have a denominator of 0, which we know that we can't have. So instead, we're going to try another trick. We're going to try to factorize our numerator here. So I'm going to rewrite this, the limit, as x approaches 3. But instead of having x squared minus x minus 6, I'm going to have the factorization of that quadratic, x minus 3 times x plus 2, all over x minus 3. Now, this is going to work out very nicely for us because we can do a direct cancellation there. And now we end up with the limit of, sorry, as x approaches 3 of x plus 2. From this point, we can just do a direct substitution and say that that limit equals 5. Now, just briefly, there are a couple of things we still need to be aware of with this function. Even though it's a quadratic divided by a, uh, a linear, or actually because it's a quadratic divided by a linear, when we sketch it, we are actually just going to be sketching this graph here, x plus 2, which is going to look like this with our intercepts at 2 and negative 2. But we have to be very, very careful. Even though the graph we're sketching is of x plus 2, we still have to take into account this here in our denominator. And that tells us that for this function, x cannot equal 3. So at this point here, x equals 3, we're actually going to have we're going to have a little bit of a hole there, and it's just going to keep on going from that point. But now, because we've calculated our limit, we can say that the value of y at that hole is going to be 5.